All right, guys. So there's a new Alfagato team that has been shared on YouTube, and I just wanted to quickly go over this team with you guys and see how effective it is. Uh, of course, the toppings are not going to be exactly the same as what I've seen, uh, but I try my best to kind of, you know, switch around the things and show you guys uh, this team in action. But as you guys can see, it is a very special team. Uh, it is kind of similar to how we used to use Sorbet up in the front. Uh, we can still do that, uh, but we have something similar to that using Alfagato in the front. And then we have uh, Frost Queen as well as Eclair in the middle. And we have Pumpkin Pie and Constant in the back. And the treasures, real quick, we are going to be using the Jelly Watch as well as the Monocle and the Scroll. And now going over to the toppings real quick. It is going to be very similar to how we used to use Sorbet once again. And we are going to be using 5 Solid Almond for Alphagata Cookie. You don't need extra cooldown or anything like that. You do want to just focus on damage resist and having the Alphagato as the tank of the team. Next one is going to be Eclair. Eclair is going to be using 5 Swift Chocolate. But you guys can see right here, uh, there is no extra subsets on the cooldown. And you really want to just focus on damage resist and having the most damage resist as possible. And then next one is going to be Frost Queen. Frost Queen is going to be using something very special too. 3 Singing Raspberry, 2 Solid Almond, focusing on damage resist. Don't really need extra cooldown as well. You do just want to have uh, the timing of these uh, three right here uh, to match. And you want Frost Queen to survive as well. Next one is going to be Pumpkin Pie. Pumpkin Pie is going to be using 5 Solid Almond as usual. Having the damage resist as well as a little bit of cooldown, it will help a little bit as well. And last one is going to be Cotton. Cotton is going to be using 5 of the Swift Chocolate. Uh, having higher cooldown is going to definitely help, but you do want to also focus on uh, damage resist as well. But here you go, guys. That's going to make this team a total of 809,061 power. And let's just see how well this team performs against different teams inside of the arena right now all right guys so here we go first team right here as you guys can see they do have the monocle a scroll that's not maxed out but we do have a frost queen as well as a sea fairy uh it's probably going to be a strawberry crepe dark cacao so let's just see how well this team performs against this team all right here we go and yep as we talked about it, it is going to be that dark cacao so something that you do want to watch out for is the amount of burst damage some of the uh team might have but as you saw right there, Sea Fairy is already gone, guys. Sea Fairy is already gone from the first initial skill that we used. Okay. And here we go. And the reason why you do want to have a lot of cooldown on Cotton is because you do want to have Cotton to heal. But, oh man, the last skill. That last skill kind of just annihilated the, the two right here. But as you guys can see, the point of this team is not to use Alphagata Cookie as a damage dealer. And it is going to be trying to use Alphagato as someone who you can just kind of debuff, right? The enemy team, prevent them from having any uh, extra buffs or anything like that. As well as having the effect of the uh, Eclair as well as Frost Queen's skill to last longer as well as to be more effective inside of the battle. Alright guys, so this time around we have Hollowberry on the other team. We do have Eclair as well as Frost Queen, so let's see how well we do against this team. Alright, here we go. And it is going to be a Coco as well as a Pure Vanilla this time around. Alright, so it is going to be a bit different. But our focus right here is going to be trying to, you know, kill off that uh, Frost Queen on the other team as soon as possible with the Poison. And of course, because of the fact that, uh, you know, Frost Queen is immune to our Frost Queen's uh, uh, front, uh, freeze, is going to be a little bit difficult. But as you guys can see, not, a, not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right, here we go. And as you guys can see, the uh, damage dealt by the cookies are not like, you know, extreme. Like one cookie doesn't do every single damage. It's, it's going to be split up and you know like once again the defectiveness of uh this team is going to be so that alfogato is going to allow eclair as well as frost queen to deal more damage as well as deal more debuff and have that more effective against some of the other cookies especially uh if we're going to be versing someone like a frost queen or even a sea fairy all right guys so here we go another uh team this time um, as you guys can see the monocle as well as the scroll is not maxed out but we do have a strawberry crate as well as a sea fairy this time around instead of a frost queen so let's see how well we do against a team with just a sea fairy not frost queen all right it's gonna be that dark cacao 
But keep that in mind that if Avogado Cookie is able to use this skill before Strawberry Crepe or even after Strawberry Crepe uses uh, their skill, then that cur the, the cookie that's cursed is not going to be able to uh, get the buff of Strawberry Crepe, right? So it really works against Strawberry Crepe and is really, really good against Strawberry Crepe. And there we go. Damage done by Frost Queen is going to be the most here. All right, this time around, we do have a Monocle as well as a Strawberry Crepe. So let's see how well we do against this team with the, wow, a maxed out Sea Fairy as well. All right, here we go. And as you guys can see, it's going to be, the skill order is going to be Pumpkin Pie, Cotton, and then it's going to be followed by Affogato, uh, Eclair, as well as Frost Queen. All right, so the skill is going to work out this way, this way, and then Affogato's uh, Curse. Followed up by Eclair and Frost Queen, so it is. It's the order is really, really good, guys. Uh, it's just that you know the point is sometimes there are going to be enemies with a Frost Queen or a Sea Fairy who's going to freeze the enemies and stun the enemies or stun our cookies, I guess, um, that are going to prevent uh, you know prevent them from actually using their skill first. So you do want to have them. Uh, survive and of course you want them to uh, be able to use their skill that's why damage resist is really really important okay and as you guys can see d damage dealt this time around is going to be most uh, done by pumpkin pie and you know just the damage overall it's just going to be really really uh, nicely spread out all right guys one more time here it's going to be a double tank again a max out sea fairy max out eclair as well as um i believe this is going to be a pure vanilla or cotton but this time around they don't have a monocle though so let's just see how well we do against this team all right so they are running a dark cow instead uh so a lot of burst damage is going to be done here um uh, and yeah we're just going to die right there <laughs> so a uh, a team that you don't want to be going up against is going to be having a bur like a bunch of burst damage. So, aka something like this, where you have a dark account as well as a sea fairy, um, eclair, and a hollow berry, right? Uh, or you don't want to be going up against a team who has uh, both sea fairy as well as a frost queen. Um, and you don't want because you know even though you have damage resist, they're just going to get bursted down. And as you saw, my frost queen just got. Uh, absolutely destroyed in the beginning so you do want to focus on who you're versing and you really just want to go up against a team that really going to have like a strawberry crepe or even a monocle or even an herb uh, because that is going to be the uh, team that Alphagato is really going to be most effective against well there you have it guys a Alphagato team that has been shared i do want to thank a fellow youtuber who is actually a Korean YouTuber who shares a lot of great information regarding Cooking Our Kingdom and I'll put his link down in the description as well so if you do want to check it out you could check him out as well but uh, there you go guys a Alphagato team is not going to be meta breaking or anything like that because of the fact that Alphagato is not really really uh, suited right now for the arena where a lot of burst damage is going to be the uh, main uh, goal of the damage right so we have sea fairy we have dr cow we have hollow bear we have uh, someone like frost queen uh they just do a ton of damage but alfagato is going to be a very slow and steady uh cookie who deals damage constantly and is going to be very effective with that uh, the curse so that is the reason why you want to be using uh, this cookie against a cookie who is going to be you know buffing uh, the enemies who are going to be something like strawberry crepe uh, who's going to have that 50% damage resist uh, buff to two of the cookies with the lowest HP most likely going to be frost queen or sea fairy who are going to be uh, one of the most high or the highest attack cookie inside of the team so Alphagato is going to be very very good against that and just like how some of you guys commented, Eclair as well as Frost Queen are going to be debuffing the enemies, which is going to allow your Alphagato to be more effective with the uh, the amplified debuff uh, percentage. So uh, using that is going to be also great as well as Pumpkin Pie 70% right uh, healing debuff. So there you go, guys. I hope you guys found the video helpful. If you guys did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future Kicking and Kingdom videos as well as live streams. That I do on YouTube. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys all next time.